street project you were ever involved in? Yeah, it was my first street project. Did you have fun filming this part? Uh, not only did I have fun filming it, but... Uh, did I get paid for it? No, not this one. You did this one. <laughs> okay, I, I had fun doing it for free. Uh, do you have any favorite clips? Uh, I guess the Grand, Grand Mac. Norquist. Norquist, yeah, the Norquist long 50 line was my favorite one. Oh, or the Manny combo at Boyle Street. Oh yeah, well I thought the 5-0 on the picnic table was a little satisfying and nice. then getting that 50-50 on there, that nice long one, yeah. sealed the deal I guess. Yeah, I love how much speed you got, you're cruising at that thing. Well, I can make your pop on that, you're going to eat it. Oh yeah, like I have once or twice before. Once or twice during the process, yeah. You remember the first day we went there and tried it and then we had to go back? Yeah. Why did we have to go back? To get it in a line. Do you think filming in the streets can be stressful at times? Not as stressful as dealing with scooter kids at the skate park. But it can be pretty stressful though. You know, trying to get your trick down and frustrating not getting it. You know, especially if you're trying to film a long line. What's the jump for? Do you like session spots with homies or do you prefer solo missions with the filmer? It depends, you know, they're both pretty good. Missions with the homies is, is fun, you know, you get the vibes, but then also just the solo, solo filming session with the filmer is good too. I, I can't really put my finger on which one I like more, to be honest. Woo! Do you think you'll enjoy watching this part 10 to 15 years from now? Yeah, it's probably the best skateboarding I've ever done in, in the streets now that I almost don't skate as much, I guess. So I'll definitely be enjoying this for many years to come. You got any plans for 2023? To start skating more. Alright, that pretty much wraps it up. Alright.